Hi everyone, Nevada Nail Person. So today I'm going to be sharing the products that I used in my makeup basket for through the week ending Saturday, November 26th. Now during the week, I had a short week at work, so I did happen to do a get ready with me with um, some of the products that I use in this basket. basket so look forward to that. Um, that should be released probably a few days after this video would go up. So now I'm just going to go through the products that I used this week and I did mention it was a short week so easy looks. Um, one, one day for work I had to get in there by 5 a.m. so I took my makeup to go and <laughs> kind of did it in between so woke up you know woke up just did my eyebrows um, freshened up brushed my hair, dry shampoo, whatnot, out the door. So that was an interesting makeup day. I haven't done that in a while. But in the meantime, I just wanted a simple look this week. So I used a lot of basics. I have a few new products I used and some things I pulled out and some thoughts. So let me get into it. So of course, even though I hydrate my face after moist, um, after cleansing appropriately in the shower. There may be a few minutes in between, so I like a little freshen up, and this is just some spray uh, primer, if you will. Um, it has a sticky base. It's basically a moisturizer, but has a sticky base, so I consider it a primer. I've also been using the e.l.f. Aqua Primer Mist. Let me just say the mister on this particular bottle sucks. So that alone I don't like. It It's like getting hit in the face with a fire hose. So do not appreciate that, but the product seems okay. Um, so that's primers. Additionally, I've been using this as a primer um, since some days I use a, a CC cream um, this this will give me some radiance underneath, so I'm almost done, so using it up. And of course, using my e.l.f. Un hydrating under eye primer as an extra boost of moisture to combat those little wrinkles. You know, you know what I'm talking about. So of course, still on these two, on the days I want more coverage, I would use the L'Oreal Pro Glow, and just when I want something, I will use this um, Hope Girl CC Cream, which starts off as um, a white cream and color uh, matches your skin after applying it. So I think I used this in the video, so you'll see it in action. So love both of those products very much. Um, I do use, uh, I'm using up my IT Cosmetics, this janky one that's all taped together. This thing has been lasting forever. So, I mean, I'm, I'm really trying, really digging into it. I'm surprised I haven't hit pan yet. But I do use this as a setting powder, so you see it all the time. So I have some on now. I even just touched up a few minutes because my internet is acting up. So by the time I got to film my makeup basket, it's much later in the day. Um, I even had them reset it. Let's just say the provider I use is Cox Communications. So I think the name says it all. Anyway, I digress. So additional products on my face, um, just to give me some contour bronzing. I've been using the Tarte Sculptor, which is just a cream bronzer. See this in action. And this is a deluxe size, so it should be done soon. And I also have been using, I don't think I used this too much this week though. This is the Becca Low Light Sculpting Perfector. So it's a, a contouring product, a little bit deeper and cooler to give you a little bit more contouring, if you will. Now, underneath my eyes, what I've been using is the Naked Skin Concealer in 
this is not a concealer. This is a corrector in peach. And I love this. I have been really, really liking this. And um, I think I'm going to buy the full size. Which, strangely enough, I didn't like the Naked Skin Concealer, but I like the corrector. So this is the peach shade, and I'm loving it. Also been using my Bare Skin, Bare Minerals, Bare Skin Serum Concealer underneath my eyes as well. I like to just uh, apply it with the Dove Foot, tap it in a little, and then use whatever blender I'm using that day to fully blend it out. Now for eyes, I've been using, um, still liking this product. This is the Mica Beauty Cosmetics Eye Primer. And it doesn't come in any shade. But it's very similar to Painterly in it's, uh, that it's a very light skin tone. I have a concern that it looks like the pot has a crack in it. So I don't know if I dropped it or what, but... Um, if you could see that little kind of crack there. I'm just afraid it might compromise the product, but um, just noticed it. So I, I do use, use this product as a base for powder shadows. What I primarily used on my eyes this week, because again, like I said, it was a short week, uh, I pulled out the Laura Mercier Rose Gold Caviar Stick. And, spoiler alert, if you didn't open your play box yet, we actually did receive one of these in our play box. So this is my my sample already. I purchased this in a kit. And it's been a while, actually. So it is getting older and trying to use it up. So it's just a great product. And when you put it on your eyes, it's just such a nice little little shimmer. And I do put it underneath my eyes and in my waterline as well. And these, this lasts forever. I mean, the product lasts forever and it wears forever. So very happy with that product. Um, what I've been using on my eyes, just some days to set it down. If I use that um, Mica Beauty... I would just set it down with some cream brulee just so my, my powder eyeshadows blend easily. However, the, the featured product in this uh, makeup basket is this Stila palette. And this is the Perfect You, Perfect Me, Perfect You in the shade Fair Light. So this was a great little palette to use this week. It has two light blushes and five eyeshadows. And I do appreciate when a, a manufacturer includes a pan that's a little bit larger of a shade that you know that you're going to use a little bit more of. So I would put on the Laura Mercier stick, which had a little bit of shimmer, but most of these shadows are matte, if not slightly satin. There's one shimmery one. I didn't even use this one this week. But just using a combination of these outside shades on my lid, loved it. Um, great, great, great crease shade. Deepened it up a little bit with this uh, particular shade. This is more of a highlighter, but more of a satiny highlighter. I like a little bit more wham bam, but on an easy day, it works just fine. So let me just swatch some of these so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. So you can see it's just very light shades. Let me go over it again. Because they're that light. Uh, let's see. We dip this way. Oh, I hope I hit right. So very nice crease shade. This was the highlighter shade. And this is the pink all over shade. So actually this went over my Laura Mercier. So it just takes it down. You still get that pink tone. And then this, this darker shade would just deepen it up a little bit too. So it comes across very light in this camera with these lights right now. But I was very happy with that. 
And then these two um, blush shades. This one was kind of light. So actually what I did was just blend the two. And that's the blush shade I got during the week. So I'm very happy with this palette. I purchased it in um, the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. It is, they do offer a few different shades. So if this is fair light, I'm sure they have a medium and a deep as well. I think they did. And I think I liked it enough that I wanted to. No, you can only order it one day. I, I had wished I ordered the medium palette as well. But I'm very happy with this palette as it was. Uh, it's nice and compact. You can see from the shape of it. You can just throw it in your purse for touch-ups or if you're going to work really early. So there you go. Great little palette. Highly recommend. Doesn't take up much room and it's a great thing. Um, for... Now, I already have blush in the palette, but I'm still using this Fiona Styles um, Sheer Sculpting Palette. And I was watching, um, what's that cute, that cute little girl, Shay. She does that amazing makeup, and she uses this palette. And she even read comments that it comes, um, people have commented in her on her videos that it comes across patchy. And I agree. You have to be very careful. It does come across very patchy, but they are some nice shades and I am going to use it up. So, um, it's a nice little palette, but finicky as hell. So, I got this in 21 Days of Beauty as well. So, for highlighters, um, of course I have my cream highlighter. This is Click Sticks. There's a lighter shade and a deeper shade. Both are very light, but um, this is the lighter of the highlight shade. So I would just apply this in the normal areas down the nose or along the sides in the C shape right here. And um, so it gives me a base of uh, highlight that I add to. So this week what I pulled out was my Stila and it wore off, so I can't even tell you exactly what it was. But it's a Stila Kitten, and Kitten is one of Stila's fav um, famous, infamous type shades. And it's the Split Pan, and this is Kitten, this lighter shade. So you can use this as a highlighter, which is what exactly I did. Now, do I have something on my finger? So you can see it just gives you a nice little shiny bit. I do have it on right now. Try it again. And then this deeper shade, I don't know if it's called Kitten as well, but I kind of combined it as like a blush topper. You can see this one's a lot more pigmented. So. Literally, all I did was go in the pan and just add a little bit right here, just like that, to uh, enhance that very light blush. So that's what I was using for a highlight this week. So inner corner, um, Cupid's bow, whatnot, and I hit pan. This is an older product, and I got to use it up. And it's a good product, too. It's more of an everyday highlighter. It, you can use it on your eyes as well. Originally originally it was sold as a um, eyeshadow pan, but it migrated to the cheeks. So definitely want to use this up. It's getting old on me, but it's really pretty, right? So that's Stila Kitten, the Duo Split Pan, something like that. Now for mascara, and I should also mention I did use my Smashbox Sumatra automatic eyeliner. You know, I love this thing. Use it every day almost. I did find another eyelash curler. Um, this is from... So this, this eyelash curler is from a company called Dirty Work. So I never heard of them. Um, I found it in 
amongst my makeup collection, cleaned it off and changed the little rubber rubberized portion in the middle. So I'm, I'm it's okay. It works better than that janky uh, tart one with the crystals on it that I was afraid was going to pop. Um, obviously had a spring issue. So I've been trying this out and it's okay. It's still not the holy grail. It's I think it's going to be one of those products. It's a never ending try it all uh, type of product. I still have my Tweezerman. I think I like this better than the Tweezerman. Um, so I'll keep going until I find something. Um, I found out that MAC has a half lash curler and since I have such little tiny deep set eyes it might be beneficial for me to invest in this half lash curler so I could just do sections and get in there. So I'll get there. I, in fact, I forgot when I placed my Black Friday order at MAC, I should have ordered it then. Ebates had 10% off too. Damn. Oh well. Anyway, so for mascara, I started off um, with this Guerlain Seal, Seals Denfer Maxi Lash. So it's a Guerlain mascara. This was pretty good. Um, I used it last week. I just think I used it Monday. Um, and I think I'm done, ready to move on. And of course I mentioned I had to uh, take my makeup to go on one of the days this week, which was Tuesday, to wrap some things up. So just to pack up my makeup bag, I just bought this tiny little mascara from MAC. This is the Zoom Lash, and I've been using this up. And I like the Zoom Fast Lash better, but I do like this type of wand that's longer and skinny because it, it helps me get in there with these tiny little lashes that I have. So I do like this product. Um, so I think that has a few more times in it as well. And now for eyebrows, um, somewhere between last night and today, my Anastasia Brow Wiz in Soft Brown has gone missing. So when I had to do my brows today, I had to pull out something different. So I went old school, and this is the Smashbox Brow Tech To Go. Um, I just used this today. The, remain, the earlier part of the week, I used the Anastasia every day. But I had to use something today. <laughs> So this is old school in that this is one of the products that started it all for me. I was trying to use that the pomade and I just, I don't have, I guess I don't have the patience to deal with it. So when this came out, I was so happy because it was the Brow Tech to go where the Brow Tech used to be um, a powder and a wax in a pot from Smashbox and that's what I was using. So this was... I was so excited when this came out. Now this has one of those um, triangly type tips. So I haven't used one of these in a while. So it was a little, brows little, look a little wonky janky today because I haven't used this in a while. But um, I do enjoy this. This is one of the first real eye pencils I use. And this is in the shade... Um, taupe I believe. I think it only came in two shades. Um, let me see if it says. Yeah I believe it's taupe. It only comes like in a light and dark. What's cool about this is on the other side it actually comes with a clear brow gel which I've never proportionally gone through the brow gel and the eye pencil at the same time. They give you a lot more gel versus brow product. For what this is, um, you get about like this much product. So just so you know, um, price point, it's not there. I want to say these are about $24, $26 and I go through them quite quick. A lot of brow gel left though. Probably more because of the two-in-one, but it is a good product. Um, and then finishing up my 
lash um, eyebrows with a little bit, even though I had the clear brow gel, I like this L'Oreal uh, lash, you know, brow plumper it's called. I finally figured it out. This one has a little bit more color, a uh, little bit more dimension, if you will. So I do like this product a little bit better than a clear. And just some products I forgot. Of course, you know, I'm using my e.l.f. under eye setting powder. And I've been starting off my routine, which I don't really mention with this um, boost, Arrow Boost. And I think I got this from Birchbox. And I think it's their brand where it's a color enhancing lip balm. So you put it on and it turns slightly pinky red. So that's that. Um... For lips, what I have on right now is, I think this was a, I might have traded in points from Sephora. I don't know if I just got it outright or traded points. This is Buxom's Wildly Whipped Soft Matte Lip Color in the shade Centerfold. And this is what I have on. And to be honest with you, it reminds me very much of the NYX Soft matte lip cream. It's okay. It does not dry down. I put this on probably an hour ago and I could still feel it's moisturizing but there's really nothing there. Um, not a big fan of this. I don't think I'd go out of my way to purchase it. It's a nice shade but if it reminds me so much of NYX, I could get NYX for 5 or $6 versus Buxom, which would probably be in closer to the $20 mark. And another thing, I'm just an FYI, uh, you know, I have tons of samples of everything, which I love getting, but I, I, I need to use them. So what I'm doing is trying, I need a better bag to include in my makeup basket, and this would include primer and um, foundation, BB cream samples. So today I used um, the L'Oreal cushion and it's in W3. And I thought it would be a little bit too deep for me, but it seems okay. I All I could say is with these cushions, I do not like using the little puff. So it, the on this side, and I know this is disgusting, but this is the area where it holds the product and then it has a separate side that I didn't even open that um, you would apply your foundation BB cream with this puff so did not want to do that so I just used my beauty blender dipped it in there and used it so this way I'm at least using up some products on the weekend so that's what I have on now just an FYI so that's it. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Look forward to my get ready with me with the products featured in this basket. And I will talk to you soon. So that's it. Bye.